there have definitely been significant advances over the last uh, decade or so in the treatment of lung cancer. For the subset of patients that have disease that's contained in their lungs, we have a very good chance of curing them. And our tools to cure them are getting better and better. They're getting more sophisticated, um, and uh, our outcomes are better, and the side effects are, are becoming uh, less. So the gold standard uh, for, for decades has been surgical resection. But many patients with lung cancer have pretty poor lung function, and they can't tolerate these operations. So that's where these newer technologies are coming in, like CyberKnife which is a way that we can, in, in a completely non-invasive fashion, target these tumors um, and cure them. Another option is lung brachytherapy, which is actually inserting radioactive materials right up against the tumor. Um, that's done in conjunction with surgery. So now the surgeon, instead of having to take out the entire lung or entire lobe, can just wedge out a small piece of the lung, and we place radioactive pellets right up against it. And again, the outcomes when you look at lung brachytherapy and CyberKnife in terms of local control, controlling that cancer in the lung, seem to be just as good as surgery. Most radiation that's delivered is delivered from the outside in, where we use machines like uh, linear accelerators or cobalt machines that have an energy source that uh, actually uh, puts radiation through the body. Brachytherapy actually involves using radioactive isotopes that are either within the, the tumor itself or adjacent to the tumor to, to deliver the, the dose from the inside out. Here at El Camino Hospital, we now have everything available for the lung cancer patient. Uh, we still, uh, you know, we have excellent thoracic surgeons who can perform the lobectomies and pneumonectomies when they're necessary. But for those patients who are not really candidates now for those procedures, we have the backup procedures. We've got the CyberKnife treatment. Uh, we, now we have this lung mesh brachytherapy program. You know, for instance, the, the uh, very first patient we did here uh, was the first patient done using the Da Vinci robot. It was a robotically placed brachytherapy procedure um, using a very, very short uh, half-life radioactive source. So, a candidate for CyberKnife because he had already had radiation twice previously, so he couldn't have CyberKnife treatment. So for most, if he had gone anywhere else, I don't think he would have had